When you set up a web server and put it online, it's crucial to understand what information is exposed. WebCheck gives system administrators access to the operations of any given website, allowing them to examine the server architecture, security settings, and technologies used by the site to find potential security flaws. Unlike similar services, WebCheck is free and open source. There's no sign-up, tracking, logging, or advertising. Anyone can deploy their instance easily. The dashboard will provide information on IP addresses, SSL chains, DNS records, cookies, headers, domain names, search crawl rules, page maps, server locations, redirect ledger, open ports, trace route, DNS security extensions, site performance, and related host names in addition to the carbon footprint. WebCheck can be deployed through Netlify, Versal, Docker, or from source. But for this video, we will deploy WebCheck from source on the Ubuntu server. Now, let's deploy. Log into your Ubuntu server and change as root user. First, we need to create a user that will run the application. Run the user add command and define the home directory and the shell for the WebCheck user. WebCheck has a few required packages that need to be installed, such as git, trace root, make, and g++. Let's install those first before proceeding with the application installation. There are also some checks that require a few libraries. So we are also going to install those libraries. WebCheck will run in a Node.js runtime environment. We need version 18.16.1 or higher. The default Ubuntu repo doesn't provide this version, so we are going to download the install script from the Node.js repository by executing this curl command. Let's execute the script we just downloaded to configure the Node.js repo on the server. Once the repository has been configured, we can copy the app get command to install Node.js. As I mentioned earlier, the required version is 18.16.1 or higher. As you can see here, we installed a higher version, 18.19.1. So we are good here. Next, we need to enable CorePack. CorePack provides Yarn Package Manager, which we will need to install the dependencies and run WebCheck application. Once we have Yarn Package Manager, we need to change as WebCheck user and download the source from its GitHub repository. Get into the WebCheck directory and let's install its dependencies using the Yarn Package Manager. Installing the dependencies will take a few minutes, depending on your internet connection and your server resources. Now we have all the dependencies installed. We can now build the application. Exit as a WebCheck user and create the systemd startup script so we can manage the WebCheck process by using the system control command. Now that everything has been set up, we can now start the WebCheck server. We can verify if it's running by checking its status. As you can see here, it's already running. We can now fire up our browser and go to the server's IP and port 3000. There are a few things you should always do first when investigating any website or server, whether it's for an open source intelligence investigation or just out of interest. Consider the tech stack, server information, page list, SSL chain, domain registrar records, etc. Each of these can generally be found easily on its own using a combination of web resources and bash commands. It takes time to gather, compile, and analyze all of this data, though. In order to automate this process, WebCheck finds, organizes, and displays all the information required to give your inquiry a solid foundation. It generates a complete report without any filler in a matter of seconds. That's all for now. Drop me your feedback and comments below. If this video helped you in any way, please like share and subscribe. Thank you.